Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I am going to show you how to create directional damage indicators for your Unity game. This is going to be a straightforward tutorial on how we can display these damage indicators when our character takes damage. We will also see how we can rotate these indicators in the direction of the damage. If you want to add more advanced indicators to your game, you can check out ultimate indicators which I have linked in the description of the video. Let's get started with the tutorial. I have a simple scene built using the polygon prototype pack. Inside this environment, I have a first person character and a few enemies that are just animated to move right and left while looking at the player. And over here, I have the sprite which I will be using as the directional damage indicator. And the first thing we need to do is create a new canvas inside of which we will display these damage indicators. I will call this the damage canvas. Set the scaling mode of the damage canvas to scale with screen size. Inside this damage canvas, we will create an empty object as the pivot of the damage image. The pivot will be positioned and aligned at the center of the screen. Next, create an image inside the pivot which we will call the damage arrow image. Assign the damage arrow sprite to this image and resize it as required. After that, you want to position the image so that it is at the top of the screen. And now from our code, we can rotate the z-axis of the pivot to point the arrow in the direction of the damage. Create a new script on the pivot object. We will call this script the damage indicator. In the script, start by importing the Unity UI library. After that, we need a vector3 variable for the damage direction a reference of the transform of the player and a reference of the transform of the damage indicator pivot. In the update function, we will calculate the angle between the player and the direction of the damage. The direction of the damage can be found by subtracting the damage location from the position of the player object. Now we can calculate the angle between the damage direction and the player forward. After that, we can just rotate the pivot image along the z-axis based on this angle. Let's go back to Unity and test the code. Assign the references for the player, the reference for the damage indicator pivot, and for the position of the damage, we are just going to use the position of this cube. And now, if we play the project, we can see that the damage indicator is rotating. However, it moves sharply at the center of the screen. This is because the Y position of the player is not the same as the Y position of the damage location. To fix this, we can simply go back to our script and change the Y position of the damage location to the Y position of the player. If we run the project again, we can now see that the damage indicator is rotating perfectly just as we want it to. Next, let's make the damage indicator fade out after a while. For this, add a canvas group to the damage indicator pivot. And now we can change the alpha of the canvas group from our script. Back to the code, create a reference of the canvas group. And also we will need three float variables. One for the time after which the fade out starts. One for the remaining fade out time. And one for the maximum fade out time. At the start, the maximum fade out time and the remaining fade out time will be the same. And in the update function, if the fade start time is larger than 0, we will decrement it. And once it becomes smaller than 0, we will start fading out our canvas group. And once the canvas group has completely faded out, we will destroy the damage indicator object. Let's go back to Unity and test our code. Assign the reference for the canvas group, set the fade start time and the total fade time. We want the damage indicator to be disabled by default. And now run the project. Once our damage indicator becomes enabled, it stays there for 1.5 second, after which it fades out and then the damage indicator object gets destroyed. And now let's see how we can use this damage indicator when our player character receives damage. 
I am going to create an example script on my player character. Inside of which I am going to create a function for receiving damage. The function might take parameters like damage type, damage value and other parameters depending on your game logic. And in here you might have the logic on how you are handling the damage and reducing the player health. And in this function we want to create a new parameter called damage position. And also in our script we want a variable for the reference of the damage indicator which we are going to instantiate when the receive damage function is called. Here the variable type is damage indicator which is the script we just created on our damage indicator pivot. And now in our receive damage function we are going to set the damage position of our damage indicator to the position we just got from our receive damage function. And after that we can just instantiate the damage indicator object. And then enable the new damage indicator object which will start pointing in the direction of the damage. Back to Unity, assign the reference of the damage indicator object to the script. And now let's quickly create the logic on the enemy for dealing damage to the player. For the fire effect, I will add explosion particles on the gun of the enemy. And now for dealing damage I will create a new script. The deal damage script is going to be pretty straightforward. The enemies are going to wait for a random amount of time, after which they are going to shoot at the player. When they shoot, the explosion particle system on their guns is going to play and then using ray cast they are going to detect if the player is within range and the player is not hidden behind any objects. In which case they are going to deal damage to the player by calling the receive damage function on the player script. And when they call the receive damage function, they are also going to pass their position to the player. Back to Unity, on the deal damage script of the enemy, I am going to pass the reference of the particle system and the damage receiver script we created on the player object. After that, I will just copy this damage deal script and the particle system on all three of the enemies. And that's pretty much it, our directional damage indicators are now ready. Let's run the project to test everything out. And there we go. We now have directional damage indicators ready for our Unity game. That's it for the tutorial. If you found this video helpful, make sure to like and subscribe for more useful Unity guides.